will account on all they've done. And if your name's not found in the book of life, you'll be thrown into the fiery lake. If you declare this day salvation, how will you escape? think it a strange thing that I, the living God, am giving forth the call to repentance, revolution, from men to return to repentance before me. For I say, if you consider that men have grown to the place where they are so proud, so arrogant, that they do not need to repent, what have they done? I say, they've taken a place whereby they are separated from me, separated from the truth, the light, the strength that I provide. And I say, in so doing, they prove they are not worthy of me. For I say, there is no way that a man can enter in and abide in my presence if he does not repent. For I say, that I, the living God, do not bring in the filthy, the ones who continue in their filthiness, their abomination, their perversion, their vileness and corruption, and call them acceptable unto me. But I say, if a man will repent, that is, turn from his wicked ways, and walk uprightly in me, then I say that he is well-pleasing. But I say, when men will estrange themselves from my way, what do they do? I say, they go in a way that is reprobate, they go in a way that is vile and corrupt, and yes, they think they are fine in the same. And I say, it is because they are living under the delusion, the confusion of their own minds and their own darkened understanding. But I say, when a man will be repentant of his sin and see that he must indeed walk uprightly in me, then I say that he is well pleasing. For I say that he has become receptive to that which I, the living God, desire and require in my own. Now I say you are living in a time when men have rejected the cornerstone of repentance as they rejected me. That is, they were meant to be accepting me and building according to my dictate, to my desire. But I say the very ones who claim that they were my people were found to be rejecting me. That is, not accepting what it is that I came to bring them, which was and is the way of eternal life. Now I say if you consider that in this present age that men have grown so bold that they have rejected repentance. That is, the ones who are claiming that they are my people have turned away from the principle of repentance and said there is no need for the same. For I say they have built according to their own understanding and I say their building is faulty. And I say it is me, the living God, who will through my wrath bring down their building of falsehood that men could be free to repent once again. For I say that men are men to repent in order to enter into and partake of my kingdom. And I say if they do not repent, then I say they are none of mine. For I say it is not according to the dictates of men, it is not according to the understanding of men, but I say it is according to the mind of my spirit that men are found agreeable unto me. That is, if men will thoroughly repent, amend and change their ways and come forth in the newness of life that I provide, then I say they are approved of me. But I say when men will think they may sign up for membership, that they may give their offerings and be found acceptable by their attendance, I say that it is not true. For I say it is not in the organizations of men that men are found agreeable unto me, acceptable unto me, but it is by repentance before me. That is, by thoroughly amending and changing their ways, by coming forth in the newness of life that I provide in being made glad for my way. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call thee to walk according to the dictates of men and their organizations, but I say that I call thee to walk according to the dictates that I provide. That is the truth, the light, the strength, and the mercy of who I am, being ever made glad for my way. For I say it is indeed a privilege to be directed, corrected, and guided always, for I am the one who is able. And I say it is indeed a privilege to partake of the blessedness, the truth, and the light that I alone can provide. 
Now I say this day that I, the living God, have called thee to come forth in the truth, the light, the strength, the mercy, day by day. And I say that I have called thee to be uplifted in the, that which I give thee, which is the truth and the light upon the path. For I say, when you will indeed be rejoicing in me, partaking of me, and being brought forth by me, then you are well-pleasing. But I say, when you choose the way of the stubborn, the proud, the wayward, careless fools, you are choosing the way of death. Now I say, this day that I, the living God, have put forth the call, continuing to put forth the call to repentance revolution. That is, to any and all who will have an ear to hear and obey my command to the sons of men. For I say that I, the living God, am eradicating, demolishing, and tearing down the buildings that men have put up in order to establish their own way. And I say that I'm taking it back to the cornerstone of repentance, which every man needs to enter into me. Now I say this day, be thankful to repent, be thankful to turn from wickedness, be thankful to put aside those sins that do so easily beset thee. And I say, be thankful that you can indeed be uplifted, brought forth, directed, guided, and instructed by me. For I say, it is me, the living God, and me alone you are meant to seek, to please, to obey, and follow after. And it is me, the living God, who will ever direct, correct, and guide thee forth. For yes, indeed, you are meant to be mine. Now I say, this day when any man or woman will come into repentance, revolution, of course their lives will change. For I say that their attitudes will go from ingratitude to thanksgiving unto me. That is, their eyes will be opened to behold how much mercy I've given unto them and continue to give. That is, because it is me, the living God, who is indeed the way of mercy provided for all who repent before me. Now I say this day when you appreciate what it is that I do for thee, I say you will not be quick to scoff repentance, but I say you will grow to understand and appreciate how important it is unto me. That is, that the ones who claim that they are my people would stay in the mind of humility before me. That is, that they would be subject to the way that I offer, the way that I provide. Now I say this day that I, the living God, am indeed calling forth the ones who will be repentant the ones who will change and amend their ways. And I say that I am indeed calling forth the ones who come under the covering of repentance, revolution, and rejoice for the same. For I say, when men are proud and arrogant, high-minded and deceived by their own conceit, I say they will scoff and mock repentance. That is, they will think that it is some old thing from another age that men have no need of today. I say, according to their own understanding, according to the darkness of their minds, they are right in their own eyes. And I say, all the while they are damning souls because they do not give unto them the way of repentance. But instead they offer unto them their own proud way, the way of condemnation, the way of damnation, and the way of pride. And they think in so doing they have established some great thing. I say they have built the house of fools. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call thee to enter into the houses of fools. But I say that I call thee to walk with the wise. That is, the ones who will see the need of repentance and move in the same. For I say if men and women are repenting before me, that is, bowing down and humbly accepting my way, then it is me, the living God, who gives mercy to them. But I say, when men and women are walking according to their own darkened understanding, I say they trouble their own souls. Now I say, this day that I, the living God, do desire that men throughout the earth would come into the repentance, revolution, and repent of their sins. That is, literally abhorring their past ways, their ways of darkness, wherein they have lived prior to coming unto me. For I say, when men will thoroughly repent, then I, the living God, will bestow mercy they have never known of. And I say, it is me, the living God, who can indeed stay my hand of wrath when men thoroughly repent before me. Now I say, this day do not grow weary in repenting, but I say, be charged up with the strength of the same. For I say, when you are indeed truly repenting before me, then you find that my strength is pour into thee. That is, you will be refreshed, you will be replenished, and you will be revived in me. 
I say when men are ever whining and crying for revival, they fail to repent. Then I say they gain no revival, they simply muster themselves to go on in their own headstrong ways far from me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call thee to be headstrong and be dead wrong that is stubborn towards me. But I say that I call thee to bend the knee, to bow down low and accept what it is that I, the living God, desire for thee. For I say you can pat yourself on the back while you remain in stubbornness and pride in your own willful ways. Or I say you can bend the knee, confess your sin, and be made right in me. That is, by humbling yourself and accepting that I, the living God, know what is best for thee. Now I say, in a wayward, a corrupted, and evil, and perverted generation, consider, consider, consider the multitude, the endless multitude of souls who are perishing day by day. That is, because they have been shut off to the truth of repentance, and they do not even know the same. But I say in this time, as you pray for repentance, revolution, and partake of the same your own self, it is me, the living God, who will hear your cries. And it is me, the living God, who will indeed overshadow men and women by the power of my spirit, calling them to repent. That is, even if they've been shut off from repentance by false teachers and liars, it is me, the living God, who can indeed penetrate and cause to fall down the wall of stubbornness that keeps them in captivity and slavery to sin. And I say it is me, the living God, who can indeed cause them to be set free to run into me. Now I say this day when you hear of a soul that has repented, I say be thankful for the same. For I say it is indeed a wondrous, a blessed thing to see men turn and change from their wicked ways. And I say when souls repent, I say there is joy in heaven over the same. For I say that repentance is indeed the way of entry into my kingdom, and it is only through the same that men will come forth in me. I say this day be thankful for the time of repentance, revolution, for I say it is indeed the time of refreshing, it is the time of reviving, and it is the time of replenishing in me. And I say, give yourselves wholeheartedly unto the effort, and yes, your strength will be increased in me. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is able to strengthen, to bring forth, to uplift, to guide the ones who give themselves over unto me. Now I say, in a wayward, a vile, a corrupted, and evil generation, be thankful that I, the living God, have stopped in my wrath in the sense that I put a stay upon what it is that I had prepared to bestow upon those who will repent my mercy. For I say that I, the living God, am indeed the God of wrath and likewise the God of mercy. Now I say that if I chose to utterly destroy humankind, I would be justified in the same. But I say when I choose to show mercy, by giving men a chance to repent, I say I am justified in that likewise. Therefore I say, do not trouble yourselves with doubt and fear and unbelief against me, because you give way to pride. For I say that pride has contempt for me and always will. That is, it scoffs, it mocks, and it humiliates the very principles that I, the living God, have given to the sons of men that they could be restored to right standing with me. And I say that pride is a domineering beast that wants to prevail over all. But I say rebuke, refuse, and refute the unfruitful works of darkness that are found in pride. And I say instead be thankful for the privilege to be uplifted, brought forth, and guided by me. And I say be thankful that I, the living God, will be ever present to give to thee the truth, the light, the strength, and the mercy of who I am. And I say, be thankful that I, the living God, will ever direct, correct, and give unto the ones who are mine the way that is peace and light, the way that is safety and truth, and the way that is hope provided. For I say, it is indeed a good thing to know that through me you are given the blessedness, through me you are given the truth, through me you are given the light. And it is indeed a blessed thing to be ever partaking of me, the author and the finisher of thy faith. For I say, when you will indeed come forth, make glad, ever thankful that it is me you are privileged to love, to serve, and obey, then you are ever guided forth by me. That is, you are kept in the way of repentance, revolution, and I say you will find that revolution is active in your life. 
that is, that you no longer let sin be an encumbrance unto thee, but that you repent and disown the same. I say this day be thankful for the privilege to be revolutionized by repentance towards me. Luke 13. There were some present at that very time who told him about the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. And he answered them, Do you think that these Galileans were worse sinners than all the other Galileans because they suffered in this way? No, I tell you. But unless you repent, you will all likewise perish.